Breaking news. Soldiers take over Oshodi in Lagos as hoodlums allegedly kill Nigerian Air Force personnel due to some issues that are ongoing right now as we speak. There is a lot of uh, panic, tension ongoing in um, Lagos, er the Osho, the er Aziz of um, Lagos Metropolis. And um, this is as a result of clash between security forces and hoodlums as one um, Air Force personnel has been killed. Uh, Osho is a very busy area in Lagos and uh, we don't know exactly what has caused this problem. However, there is a lot going on right now as we speak and um, we just want to keep you informed. Please inf uh, inform those around your Aziz or anyone you know that should please desist from such an area now because we know in Nigeria, before you know it, they're starting to discriminate arrest and they will not even check. They just are arresting people and what have you. So please, uh, be, to be forewarned is to be forearmed. Um, let's get straight into the news and get all the details. But please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details with regards to all that is ongoing right now. Soldiers take over Oshodi in Lagos as hoodlums allegedly kill Nigerian Air Force personnel. Many residents and passerby are currently restricted from the Oshodi as is in Lagos State as soldiers have taken over major places in the area. Daily Trust has gathered that there is a lot of tension in that vicinity. Many residents, passers, passengers, passers-by are currently stranded in Oshodi, Lagos State, as soldiers have taken over the major roads and the area. Daily Trust gathered that the military personnel stormed the area on Thursday morning to avert the death of an officer of the Nigerian Air Force who was allegedly mobbed to death by hoodlums. Many vehicles, especially commercial vehicles, has been destroyed while some persons were assaulted by the ag aggravated security personnel. Is this law and order in Nigeria? Because something happened, you go about and just start destroying people's cars, destroying lives and property. Because, I mean, these people, now they don't put people for Gwesi. Do you understand what we are talking about? Some of them borrow those vehicles. But because you feel that they did something, now you have done this. Is this right? I'm just asking, is this right? Is this the way things should go? Is this how we should be living in a country? No law and order. Security personnel comes like a tout. Eh? Not trying to investigate or find out what is going on and see what they are doing. As we speak now, security personnel coming there now, destroying people's vehicles, assaulting people, arresting people. That's why we are saying, please, if you are there, so please don't go to Oshedi area. If you can avoid it, please do. Let's continue. Some residents heading to work were trapped in the enshrined violence. Why students have fled back home as security personnel go in indiscriminate arrest of persons. Traders clear up their stores on the day of the weekly and the people have packed up transport no vehicles people are stranded soldiers targeting hoodlums are currently marching around the streets picking up young boys the situation has compounded the traffic area in that metropolis of the part of the city and currently no movement in and out in that part of issue the where, where uh, soldiers are on rampage looking out for people to arrest also they link other major parts of lagos and is a major bus terminal in that part of the state you know, and this is what is happening right now as we speak. There is a lot of um, activities ongoing and people are stranded because of the decision, uh, the way the police are and the, you know, the soldiers, the soldiers, whether they not get sense, whether a cow bring to, I don't understand. They just go and they just, um, you know, they just do things anyhow. This is uncalled for. This is really, truly uncalled for. You know, hoodlums and what have you have taken over. I mean, the places, there is serious unrest now as we speak. But is that the way forward? Is that the way to solve or to curb the problem? Is that the way to solve the situation of what is currently on ground? You see, I mean, this this government and what they are doing is what is currently bringing the country to where it is today. You know, uh, we have the Attorney General of the Federation whose brain apparently is porous. This man's brain is porous. It's not, uh, it's not working fine. You know, and Nigerians are replying to the Attorney General, stop threatening us with your tribalistic kind of discussion. 
you know, your, your hate speech on the Igbos, saying that uh, Igbos, uh, they should stop them from spare parts because uh, the Sultanans have stopped the headsmen from grazing. How does it, how does the Igbo selling spare parts, law abiding people, how does it affect security compared to your killer headsmen who are carrying arms? Do you understand? It, it doesn't make sense. The logic for crying out loud does not make sense. The, the, the discussion under which you are bringing those parameters does not hold in the court of law. So who exactly is deceiving who? And how do we reconcile what is really happening in this country? Are there people who are honest, who are sincere, who are true in this country? Do we have people who truly, who really, really are honest people? Attorney General of Federation said that Buhari would not agree to. Where is the Buhari? Who is the Buhari, by the way? Do we have one? Or is it just a name? We have an online president, imaginary one, who we don't see. We don't see. For all we know, we've watched American movies where people can wear masks and, you know, impersonate and come as somebody. Even voice recognitions are done to make it look make-believe. So who exactly is deceiving who? Buhari who cannot address the people of his nation, but go to other nations and is talking to others? Do you get what I mean? So who exactly is deceiving who? Do you understand? Who exactly is deceiving who? Do we have a leader in this country? If we have one, where is he? How, are, how do we know that we have one? How can we truly say that we do really have one? So, I mean, if you're speaking in terms of uh, what is going on, we really need to understand where you're coming from. Because this sounds more like there is really, I mean, look at what soldiers are doing. There is really no law and order. Even the security operative do not even respect law and order. There is nobody who is really speaking and, you know, respecting the law. So what's the law? Then they tell the civilians, obey the law. What is the law, please, if we may ask? And who, who instigated this law? What are the parameters for obeying the law? When you who put the law is saying, do as I say, but don't do as I do. You don't respect the law yourself. So who are we deceiving here? You see, Nigerians, mm -hmm. things must change you. How? I cannot tell you, but it has to change. And we all must be on top of it. Because we cannot continue to fold our arms and pretend like all is well. All is not well. It's not. All is not well. And until we stand up and defend our cause of what we believe in, I wonder where this country is going to. But we would like you to leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Do have a lovely day. Bye for now.